In the same years that the founders were inventing the United States, they and other Americans invented the penitentiary, replacing public torture and shaming, exile and execution as punishment for what today we would consider minor as well as serious crimes. The penitentiary was one of the most revolutionary steps in human history toward the recognition of the inborn rights and dignity of every human being. Until the early 1970s, our imprisonment rates were on a par with the rest of the world. Today, from among 5% of the Earth's population, the United States holds 25% of the world's imprisoned people. The U.S. incarceration rate is six times that of China and vastly higher than other nations whose human rights records we regularly condemn. Within three years of release, 65% of ex-prisoners return to jail or prison. Within five years, 75% are back inside. While many middle-class white Americans have never known anyone who has done prison time, one in every three black men born in America today will someday see the inside of a jail or prison cell. Yet studies suggest that the prison population of 2.2 million could be cut in half without making us any less safe. What has gone wrong? What do our prisons actually do? To whom? And for what practical purpose? And who can we trust to tell us the truth? The premise of incarceration's witnesses is that only one constituency of Americans is fully invested in the truth and willing and able to bear witness to the state of our prisons. These are the men and women who live behind bars. My name is Doran Larson. I'm professor of English and creative writing here at Hamilton College. I've been teaching inside Attica Correctional Facility and reading and collecting and archiving prisoner witness for nearly a decade. I hope you'll join me as we explore from points of view inside the cell door, the history of the once most hopeful and now most problematic of American institutions. Mm -hmm.